looking sort of forward, what do you think are some of the most like exciting and interesting developments that are going on in the whole field of biopsychology or neuropsychology in general as covered in the book? My, what I'm most excited about is the uh, application of the material as it relates to treatment. So we have a good understanding of neuropathology. We have a good understanding of normal brain functioning, but what does it mean as it relates to what can we do as clinicians to improve upon our clients' um, lives? Because that's what they care about. That's what they want to know most of. So the, one of the goals of the book was to bring in uh, how certain treatments are effective and what makes them effective. And, uh, and what do, when I say what makes them effective, what do we see from, from brain-based changes that have demonstrated the effectiveness that results in improved behaviors, cognitions, and, and, um, and emotions. So that's what I'm most interested in. Okay. And to, to follow along with that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in, in psychology we are very focused on evidence-based treatment. And with the idea of evidence-based treatment, we often focus on uh, is there overall improvement of quality of life in a variety of different contexts? And we think about it from a therapeutic perspective. My perspective is that evidence-based treatment uh, as it relates to improving emotional, behavioral, and cognitive functioning can expand beyond just therapy, but also the integration of, uh, of different techniques that various neuroscientists are, are able to, to utilize. Um, things like deep brain stimulation, ECT um, and, and neurosurgery that that we are st uh, still learning, but we know a lot about that can improve various patients uh, or various clients' function. Mm -hmm.